Yo, man, we off the air, man. We got a special guest, dude. It's like family we day today. We are off the air. Here that means we air. can say fuck and shit and all that crap. All that shit. right. I didn't mean to offend your children. Jeff Garcia, what's up, hey. man? Mm, I'm good, man. I got to tell you guys a story because I'll forget it. Okay. Okay, so I got a new opener. He's 14. He's great. 14? 14 years old. Dang. In the club? Yeah, they call him Lumpy. Okay. okay. Right, he's a chunky cat, right? Uh, all right. So... His dad's like all into this shit. Like he's like full force. Like you know, like Tiger's dad. Tiger Woods' dad. Like oh, you gonna fucking be a champ? <laughs> yeah. You gonna be the best comedian so, of yeah, all time? He'll hang out outside the clubs and yeah. he'll like meet the comedian. Hey, hey, my son open for you? And so he hit me up. I'm like, I started out 15. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll, cause I know how it is. Yeah. Okay. They don't want to fucking no little kids. Mm-hmm. So I said, yeah. This dude sends me a flyer from in Ontario this week, right? <laughs> sends me a flyer, right? It's my picture in the back. I'll show you to you. I should put it up. You can look on, look on uh, Losa's or Ben's Facebook or something. Yeah. I'll send it to you guys. This motherfucker has me. Was it Pedro? Me in the middle, right? Uh, in the middle. Yeah, me in the middle. And he has these naked, like, like mo- models and like fucking bikinis and shit. <laughs> yeah. And he has my cartoon people on the top. <laughs> So he's t- <laughs> so my other opener, Pedro, right here, right? Whew. Pedro Leos, he said he sends me a text. Hey man, uh, Lumpy wants to know if this is offensive. I'm like, <laughs> cartoon with cartoons with naked bitches? Nah, come on, bro. What is that? Is that a picture of it? Yeah. Oh It'll man. It'll be on Bam and Lucas Facebook yeah, well, if, you, if uh, all the I listeners want to see. I I I love chicks, uh, chicks and comedy. Nickelodeon and Ice Age and 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 yeah. Tatas, bro. <laughs> and Tatas. And Tatas. Oh, let me see that. Oh wow. <laughs> You see how all that shit like mixed together? Yo, is that like what it, it is, dude? Like that's how they, that's how they get down, dude. Too, which is perfect, dude. Yeah, let's check yeah. this out. So this, so this is what he wrote, right? So I, I, you know, Luffy wants to know if this is too offensive. I put cartoons and naked bitches? Nah. nah. If he has a picture of Jesus Christ drinking a 40, throw that shit in. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you crazy, dude. Yo. Young, you don't know no better. So, Jeff, like, at what point, dude, were you like the funny dude in high school, bro, or like the funny kid in elementary? I didn't go to high school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I started doing this shit. You know, you guys know Willie, Willie, Willie Barcena, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he, he I, I was a runaway. I went to go live with him. For real? Uh huh. Dude, I Damn. never, ever, ever known that. Yeah, yeah, So that was what, elementary, junior high? Uh, no, uh, I, I went to first, uh, ninth grade. And okay. I, at the end of ninth grade, I go, Man, this ain't shit in for me. So I was out. <laughs> Damn, yeah. that's crazy. He used to clean his house and he would buy me food and give me like $20 here like a, like a dad and shit. For real? Yeah. And Willie's cool as shit too, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, he's real chill. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, but I found out later my fucking mama sending his ass money. <laughs> For <laughs> real? That's cool though. Damn, that's crazy, dude. When did you find that out though about your mom? Like ten years ago, like n- n- oh wow, oh. Like fifteen years ago, something like that. Something I'm forty-one now. Okay, okay. This is, okay. I was fifteen, sixteen then. Damn. Yeah, man, I, that was that was so great, but it was like bullshit at the same time. You know, it was a one-bedroom apartment, and okay. he was a, he was a horn dog. Okay. You know, I hope his wife now ain't listening. To this shit. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'd be all snug because he he'd work all night right I'd be all snug in the bed watching TV and shit and I see him walking with a six pack of Miller Lite <laughs> some fucking hooker <laughs> some busted bitch in the club oh that's hilarious yeah that's really really cool I never knew that all right so when did you did you know dude like okay I gotta start making laughs like Willie was a com- was he a comedian then yeah he, he was he was already like three years in okay oh, okay okay he's okay. he's like. Like a month older than me. I mean, ten years and a month older than me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But this March twenty fourth, my May third. So was he kind of the 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 way to, to comedy for you? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, and that, what happened? My my dad and mom divorced, which sucked ass because I had to move to the, to a rancho, mm-hmm. which is well, a rancho is a great place to live. But uh-huh. if you're doing comedy and no car, you're fucked. <laughs> so when I was out, he lived in Silver Lake, so I could take a bus to a show if I wanted to. Wow. Well, there was nothing going on over here over here at that time. Right. So. And I mean, when did it, when did you realize like, okay, cool, I can make Make a serious like career out of this you know what i mean like you don't even right. think about happen? it how you, does that pop you don't think about it bro you just yeah. know like in your brain i'm fucking be, I'm, fam- I'm famous i'm gonna be famous don't worry uh-huh. about it and then disney gave me 50 grand when i was 16. Damn. i had my boy at the dmv with it get license. the fuck out dude like that's 16 years old dude what, that's though? awesome uh, it's called a holding deal Basically, the, the the studios at the time yeah. were so scared that you were gonna blow up a, a, a tv oh. show on their network that they would pay you not to go to their network they're like Oh, okay, okay, okay. Damn, like, like for don't... instance, like for instance, you work for one hundred four point seven, and fucking uh, Hot ninety three said, "Oh, he's in, he's the shit, he's the shit." So we're gonna give you yeah. money. You're not gonna work for one hundred four point seven, but you you can't work for anybody Correct. but us. Damn. And that's how that's why they gave me a fifty. They gave Willie one hundred ten. Fuck. Damn. God, or seventy five. Or uh, they gave him a lot more than to me. Not, well, dude, if you think about it, like too, with the music business, like that's like those cats that get the deals and they're shelved. Yeah. But it's like fuck that because we don't want so and so to get them. But you still got some cash to, to pop off. And yeah, yeah. Damn, uh, so. It's amazing the money that back then they don't do that. Really, it's very often they do it yeah. now. 
but very often. How did they often. see you? Jeff is 16. Hmm? How did they see you? They go to like, the clubs. Oh, and the okay. agents grab you and go, we got this guy, and they have a showcase. Like, to have a set up this night where all the yeah, industry yeah. will come and check you out. Damn, that oh, is crazy. crazy. I did not know that shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. That dude, is crazy. I have guys, there's guys that I know, a guy named, have you ever heard of Don Marrera? No, mm -hmm. I don't think Italian so. cat, he's fucking uh, hilarious. Okay. Dude, that guy, like, he's a millionaire because of the holding deals. Like, he got wow. held, like, only for a year. So he he every year he got a holding deal for like Damn. ten years. Damn. Okay, that's for, crazy. Yeah. Damn, just for having an ill ass town. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. The Damn. most I heard is a one million dollar holding deal, and the guy the guy is like not even doing comedy anymore, and he's broke. And now I know you've been doing <laughs> what he's, oh, and he's he broke now. That off. He went to he went to the the Jeez. comedy festival in, in uh, Aspen, uh -huh. the HBO Aspen Comedy Festival, and he just blew everybody away. He had the best set on the planet, so there was a huge argument for him. Money they went back and forth like bidding, like mm -hmm. a, like a, like an auction wow. for his ass. It got to a mill. Damn. And Warner Brothers backed off, and Disney won him. And then the guy wasn't even any good. He's he just knew an agent snuck in the showcase, mm -hmm. had two good shows, and got a million bucks. I'm sorry, I can't. Yo, can't. that's the illest story fucking ever. That's fucking dude. crazy, man. I'm telling you, the fucking business. And going from there to like doing um, like all the movies. Were you always doing like voices in school <laughs> growing up, or no? Your early shows. If you would have told me when I was like 15, wanting to do comedy, mm -hmm. yeah. that I was going to do all these cartoon voices and I wouldn't do an, any, like, on Patreon, I would have told you, you're fucking nuts. For real? Mm -hmm. You just, you just kind of, like, fell into it. How, I, how I, does that happen, though? How do you just follow? You got to explain that part, Jeff. Yeah, fall all right, in. all right. Well, I'll, okay, um, okay, I had this great idea when I was, like, fucking, like, 17, 18. I saved all my money and I bought a studio. I bought an audio studio. And remember, audio was way bigger back then. Like, if you're a radio star, you're... Right. Yeah, but it was tough to get audio equipment, right? Yeah. yeah, so it, and it cost a lot because technology was just so it, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you can fucking record albums on your iPod. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so I saved my money and I, I, I had this great idea because I smoked a lot of weed back then. Okay. that I was gonna fucking make these new Cheech and Chong CDs, like the new Cheech and Chong. Okay, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like you know, because I, I enjoy listening to those CDs. I fucked and ha ha. Yeah. I'm gonna make the uh -huh. new ones. So I got my, you know, Edwin San Juan. Mm -hmm. I got him. I, my, my fly or fly. <laughs> yeah, I got him together, man. Fucking working with it. Anyways, <laughs> so they were lazy as fuck. They go, we can't work unless we have weed. Well, I'm like, dude, okay, you get, when do you go get the weed? When do you stay here? Nah, man, we gotta get together. So I tell them, be here at 12. They would show up at fucking seven, and we have to work at eight at, at the club. So I had to do most of it myself. So I was so used to doing the the, the voice in, the, in my house with my oh, microphone. Okay. So I had two auditions. I had an audition for Jimmy Neutron and an audition for a sketch show on uh -huh. Fox. And I didn't give a fuck about Jimmy Neutron. I really didn't. Yeah. Because I'm like, this Fox show is going to blow me the fuck up. Yeah. Because if they get me doing, you know, characters and shit, like that, uh -huh. I'm going to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the audition for Jimmy Neutron was at one, and the audition for the sketch show was at five. Uh huh. So I went to do the audition to, pl to please the agents. Okay, I do this little whatever cartoon thing, whatever, fuck. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the, and I, I, I didn't get that, but I ended up getting Jimmy Neutron. The, the, the sketch show didn't get picked up, but Jimmy Neutron did the movie, then I did the series, then I did the spinoff. Dude, so, okay, so when you do the Jimmy Neutron, like, you got that, like, I just want to know, like, they don't come to you, like, do you have any, like, acting experience? Do you really have, like, a, they you call have have the, a long list of just, like, shit, or? Well, the producer, his name's Steve Odekirk, awesome cat, the like, nicest okay. guy I've ever met in Hollywood. Okay. And it, he, uh, he, he wrote Bruce Almighty, he wrote, um, Ace Ventura. Okay. And he was doing this anime. Well, he's a, he was a stand-up comedian. Yeah. So he, he's, he doesn't trust anybody who hasn't been in front of people. Yeah. Oh, so he called right. all the clubs looking for a young Latin. I was the only one that was young at the time. Uh -huh. So that was what I got the audition. And the character I did on Jimmy Neutron wasn't even supposed to be Mexican. He was supposed to be Asian. Because <laughs> oh, right. the studio wanted every race. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they already had a Mexican kid. Damn. So they changed him. Damn. So then, yeah, the rest is history. Dude, I got, and, and did I tell you, bro, like... Jeff made me the man in, uh, for Kimani, my nephew. Uh -huh. You know Kimani. So uh -huh. he's like, he's in high school now at the time. Oh, and, and I knew we that were working together at Wild. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, he, he watched Jimmy Neutron all the time. And <laughs> Sheen was his guy. So I was like, bro, I work with Sheen. It's like, Uncle, he's a cartoon. Yeah, you like, can't yeah, work with yeah, a cartoon. Not work with him. I'm like, yeah, yeah. man. All right, look, man. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna have him call you when I get to work. All right, I'm gonna call you from my phone. Yeah. I'm like Jeff, yo, can you call? Hell yeah, man. He talked to Hell Kimani's yeah. mind was blown. Oh, dude. And I, I, I never <laughs> do. I never talk to the kids. Yeah, yeah. Because they ask questions I can't. They, they ask you no. Know. Uh huh. So I always leave a message. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. and when I ever leave a message, I always tell people to do this. Listen, don't like get excited about it. Like don't pull the kid up. And go, guess who? Guess who called me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to be like a non. <laughs> Chalana about it. Yeah. You yeah, go, oh, yeah, yeah I got a message true. from Grandma, Sheen, from this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they, they'll they go, no. Hell but you yeah. can't, if you go like that, then they don't they don't believe yeah. it. They, if you go nonchalant with it, 
Yeah. His they mind was blown. No, that's awesome, best, man. best story about that, I had a little kid, a friend of mine's son, or daughter, daughter. She walked up to me when I was talking like the voice, and I grabbed my mouth and opened it because she thought I swallowed that motherfucker. For real? <laughs> God, dude. She's looking in my mouth like, what the like, fuck what? is this? One? <laughs> That's <hilarious. laughs> That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. It's yeah. a great idea for a show, man. So what's the, what's Thanks, the, uh, yeah, this is the, this, this is the real shit, dude. This is like you know what we do it in my house right now. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you bullshitting. I, I want to know too, like, what's what's the bullshit that comes with this? this yeah, that comedy game, shit man. is so like, different, dog. Like, I, we've, I mean, we've, we've, we've put on like little shows, man. You've came out showing us love. And I mean, like, I used to work in the improv, so I seen like, some behind the scenes shit, but like, I mean, of course, everybody says like for the cats coming up in the comedy game, like what can they expect? But like, truly, like, what's some low key shit that's like, man, if you're gonna come in this game, keep your eye open for that, you know? Well, or, or I, you... I, there's nothing really to look out for mm -hmm. because there's nothing where, nowhere really to go now, man. Mm -hmm. this, th these young comics are fucked. Yeah. Like, I, like I had to learn again. Like I'm talking about opening over here, Pedro. Like I'm teaching him, dude. Okay, have you ever heard of Gerard Carmichael? Yeah, of yeah. course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You are, what, how many people? You are, f I've, we've asked over 500 people. Two, wow. two other people other than you two. Two other people, and you're in the business. That's so exactly why, though. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. he's done a show. I've seen him. I mean, I work Okay, but, but uh, do yourself a favor. Right? Check this out. Go, go walk, tell you all, I'll ask all your friends, some yeah. random people. Yeah. Have you heard of Gerard Carmichael? All right. The, and there's nothing, no, nothing bad against him. The yeah. guy's right. awesome in this and that. But, and he's a friend of mine. He's cool. Dude. But nobody has fucking heard of him. The guy has an NBC show yes. on Sunday night. Yeah, yeah. The HBO shit too. And he had an HBO shit, yeah. directed by Spike fucking yes, Lee. Yes, yes. And dude, yeah. in, in 15 years ago, if you would have done either one of those, you would have been the biggest shit on the planet. It's crazy, man. That's what, that's yeah. what I'm saying. To, to look out for it, nothing to look out for it. It's something you have to go out and do. Okay. Because tell you the truth, man, there's yeah. nowhere to go to get famous no more. Right. Oh, okay, okay. There's no way. Dude, if I did a Comedy Central special, I'd be, I'd be happy. I'd be lucky if 200,000 people across the country watched it. But, Joe, so what do you wow. think about these dudes that are popping like off a of vine and stuff like that? Do well, they're that really. That's not really comp. I mean, they're I really know, not. It's the, not. Because mm -hmm. they're not getting paid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the improv, they started booking a bunch of cats that had like, oh, 500,000 YouTuber followers yeah. and, and subscribers and this. And that and the, the guys can't sell a ticket. Yeah, they can't sell a yeah. ticket. I know that. And then it's funny too because because they're off YouTube, they don't know how to negotiate contracts. Mm -hmm. So they're asking for like two, three hundred, fucking up our money. Oh right. wow! You know they don't know. They don't fucking. Yeah, like what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like get with it, dude. You know what I'm saying, dude? I'm I'm I'm, I'm fucking. When I'm walking in improvs. I'm I'm looking five <laughs> figures course, at least. You know course. what I'm saying? Well, I'm not gonna get six figures from the but I'm saying that I figures for a show. I'm trying to get at least these guys are asking for two, three hundred for the yeah, weekend, and they're not even selling out one show, and they're not even God. doing nothing. So they're yeah. just yeah. so basically that's what I'm saying. There's nowhere to go. The uh -huh. only thing you can really do is just keep building your name slowly and just trying to pound a market to yeah. where the that market. Like I'll give you an example. Like you, like, okay, you get. You, you bust your ass, you save up like about 20 grand, and then you get two billboards and you put them in San Francisco and you go on the radio and you, you, you know what I'm saying, try to make little, like, little ads on the local TV mm -hmm. and try and get people to notice you. Mm -hmm. That way you can try and sell the club out. But you can't just go on HBO anymore and it's done with. Yeah, oh, yeah. I feel, yeah. Nah, you're not just going to pop right after that one episode or something like that. The, okay, the Tonight Show, right? Or it airs every night, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but some people, they don't, they don't stay up that late, right? Mm -hmm. They're not a draw no more. There's YouTubers. Right. Getting a million, the uh, uh, the Tonight Show got nine hundred eighty thousand hits last Tuesday, right? Some YouTuber got one point five million hits. Some dude in his fucking barn <laughs> in Iowa, uh -huh. fucking a goat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some random shit. Yeah, that's the problem with comedy yeah, right now. That's real what's, shit what's though. The name of that video? Yeah. I <laughs> yeah, right? Guy fucks goat. Oh my! Goat God. likes it. Hashtag Mondays. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that's crazy. Pedro was one of the one point seven million dude that I've seen that. I could tell. Day. Yeah. Oh, like look at look at the radio industry. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you're a star on the radio, and you you'd walk fucking. I remember opening um, um, um writing for Big Boy. Uh huh. You right. know what I'm saying? Back in the 1990s. I mean, he yeah. was fucking god, dude. Yeah. Baker Boys. Dude. They couldn't go nowhere without being mobbed. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. people chicks trying to. Get up now because of Pandora and all this. It's so saturated. Mm -hmm. And now yes. they have Apple Music. So you don't, and they put, let we you don't put get a, free shit no more, man. It's just fucked, man. Right? You know? It's so different. Because it's all media went. And the, I don't understand. What I don't fucking understand is that the, the industry should should have fought that. The NBC should have fucking paid money to shoot shut down YouTube. They should have paid. That's it all was, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now. Dude, cause, Clear, Clear cause, Channel should have said, fuck you to, to um, Pandora. 
They should have fucking grabbed him. I think him. they tried to at one point, but they just couldn't. Like at that time. Like, hey, when, when Steve Jobs had moment, the music business, when he had the songs, when he got, when he started getting dollars with the record labels, mm-hmm. it was over after. Yeah, that. it was a wrap. Game time. Yeah, it was. Yeah, a no, rap. but he should have been involved too and kept it getting dollars. Mm-hmm. Because you know who's really fucked right now is the is the record industry. They're fucked. Oh yeah. For because sure, they, they they can they can keep track of a unit. But what do you think about that though? Like, because as a, as you know, you're you're selling your comedy, dude. You're independently doing it. Like you said, you were creating it in your house. For now, like the cat who's making music on their phone and and popping it off online, that's a whole dollar ninety nine to their pocket or four ninety nine for the EP. Yeah, I mean that's what, you're you're selling your art, and that's what you that's mm-hmm. the, the whole goal of it. Mm-hmm. The whole goal is you look up one day and go, "Fuck, I'm getting paid for this shit." So when I pull up like Jeff Garcia like on Pandora page mm-hmm. and I hear your shit, I get paid on it. Oh, okay, cool. But it's not like I would if you said I like him so much, I'm gonna buy his his whole album on okay. on, oh, on okay, iTunes. Okay, Got I feel it. You. I was always curious. I was like, "Well, shit, you got a little theme page right here." Now uh-huh. we do like, like, it, like it depends on how people listen and, and who where they get it from. Yeah, because of different licensing. Like, I'll give you an example: Spotify. Like, Spotify, you'll see like one cent today and five cents today, and then you'll see eighteen dollars. Like, what? But they have a different contract. They can only play it so much before they have to renew. Oh, okay. That little and it, it's it's yeah. cool, but the, the the art of selling your your art mm-hmm. isn't there no more. Yeah, that's right. true. It's gone. And that really sucks if you ask me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to put naked bitches and pranks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it, it takes, it takes, and it sucks because the industry is the one that led it here because they didn't, they don't know shit. They really don't. I mean, the, like, you know, the Hollywood guys, those executives, I mean, how hard is it to have that job? I'm not talking shit about them because no. they did something right, you know, to get where they're at. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying, this, saying, how hard is it, how hard is it to, to really have that job? So you pay these producers, right? You give you give money out to make pilots, right? Mm-hmm. Then they put them in the, the people in the room, like eighty people in the room, one hundred people in the room, and they they show them and they, they 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 survey it. So they hit, I would watch this, or no, I wouldn't, or maybe I would. Mm-hmm. Okay, whoever hits the highest, they air. Yeah. I mean, how hard a job is that? No, it's easy. Try shit. this, try this <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Blindfold them and try this each burger. Oh, yeah. it's burger two, banging. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go sell burger two. I mean, that, that's your job. Yeah. So now they fucked it up so bad. YouTube came in and everybody's like, I'm sick of watching this. Well, they didn't know. Show. I think it was for those people. They didn't know how to find the talent. They didn't know talent. So they're trying to force shows and do shit well, like they that. Didn't and it's know, like all the hot they shit didn't know entertainment. YouTube. They didn't know entertainment. Yeah, or entertainment. Dude, yeah. I met with a guy. Um, I met with a guy. I'm not going to say his name. You know, and, and, and he's not even in the business no more. But the guy's in charge of all uh, all media, all shapes and forms of media, Paramount, right? Yeah. The guy had a business degree from Ohio State. How the fuck are you gonna tell some dude in the clubs like me that's doing it every night what's funny and what isn't? Yeah, he's yeah. not he's not living the culture. He's not involved in nah. its community. Yeah, I feel. I like mean, so. you you see mistakes like that all the time. Look, I'll give you an example like with commercials. Like, okay, Buster Posey is the is a um, insurance whatever spokesman. He's a giant New York. I mean, San Francisco giant. Mm-hmm. I'm a Dodger fan. I'm not buying that shit. Right. Who's in charge of that? That would think. That I would buy that when I'm a Dodger fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's t- stupid. Yeah. Now I, I could you. see a boxer, maybe. I could see an Olympic gold medalist, because uh, you know he doesn't have a rival over here. You know why would you? Peyton Manning is selling Papa John pizzas. I'm, I'm a Raider fan. This like, day. I don't want that. I, I don't not buy that shit. Fuck you. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. You. Why would he hire him and not our quarterback? <laughs> exactly. Who's in charge of that? I mean, <laughs> no, people yeah. don't look at you like that, but you got to look at that. You know mm-hmm. what? I would never do that. Yeah. They should use it. I don't want to give it too much info, man. You know, yeah. we'll talk about it when we off this shit. Off the, off the air. Off the, <laughs> off the air. Off the, off the air. Because I was like, I'm about to say what they should do. But no, I'm going to see that on TV. Nah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm you might give it too alone. much, man. You might need to check for that one. Nah, you should. You know why? Nah, I feel you. You should though. tell yeah. them right now. You know why you should tell them right now? <laughs> because they don't know what they're doing. And they'll call you for more ideas. And you'll get paid. Well, look at this. Can I can I copyright what I'm going to say right now somehow? Yeah. Yeah, this right, idea came right. from here. Yeah, this is the yeah, idea man, right here. Join in on it because it came from hold Jeff. On. Let okay. me, let me, let me. But like Papa yeah. John's, because they got. Cause hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do the legal. No, uh, copyright, bam, bam, 2016. Very <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Okay, cool. Well then, you know they should use Todd Gurley when they market in Los Angeles. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? You know, fuck with you know Tony Romo in in Texas. You and know those commercials. And we don't see those, those commercials out Correct. here. Correct. But they can't. You know what I mean? You they, don't think they can't so? because they can't afford to pay those, those kind of oh, athletes back. that small but, local. But area. it happens it though too. Wait, we gonna mm. help him with that? Nah, because you oh, know I'm a association. I'm a Bulls fan, and man, D Rose got his money in Chicago off of some pizza company. Out there, Just some local, local whatever. Oh, yeah, he was the like face of the whole pizza company and all uh-huh. that foot till whatever. Now but, some, gone, but, but somebody should get up and say, "Look, it, we're not gonna pay these. Ad- Look, they, they they don't want to pay them. They don't want to pay the college athletes, and they've been trying to pay them for what since 1960. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, go to the player association. Look, 
We're going to yeah, shut that in your contract. Paid, you got we, you, some 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 commercials have to be localized mm-hmm. and they put that in the contract. But it's it, I'm not going to buy insurance. Sorry, insurance. Hey, you're awesome. Okay. Yeah. But, but I'm not buying insurance because Buster Posey is on that <laughs> and fuck the Giants. Dodgers yeah. for life. It's <laughs> shit. You see, understand how like yes. how they do stupid shit. Yeah. I'll give you another example. The Super Bowl, right? 115 million people watch Super Bowl, right? And they have Katy Perry and Madonna up there. Why the fuck would you do that? I would have a new artist that's barely breaking out. You have 112 million people. Break mm-hmm. out a new artist. Mm-hmm. Break out a new cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. If you're, if you're, remember, CBS is Viacom. They own all those record labels too. And yeah. those shows mm-hmm. with musical artists. It'll pop off. It'll pop that's a gem, yeah, yeah, because break, they could why do would it. You, and why? Because I, I think there's some of a draw though for the Madonna and the Katy Perry. Like I think there's people that just watch it to see that. I think it becomes that part of it too. Yeah, but, but, you, I think but they made the, it like that. Though. But I think you have the opening opportunity to open with whoever. You know what I'm saying, bro? Give, give me a break, man. The Super Bowl's the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you told me my special is gonna air when, when the Super Bowl's on, I would tell you, okay. I think it would go both ways because I think I think it would absolutely be like what the fuck. So they fucking they said no to Kanye to show this motherfucker. Yeah. Who, who, is, who this? is this? Now let's gather and see this. I know. But see? really, on Katy Perry, I went from one house to the next house i dipped out you right know what I mean? that was yeah. but if it was like some dude like that they've been pumping up the past fucking two weeks and now john jones is about to perform okay who the fuck is this john jones they've been talking that's about exactly that's exactly my point true. that's exactly my maybe. point maybe no but everybody will be googling john jones yeah who is john who the jones? fuck is this guy yeah, yeah. that's a great yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? i do it all the time dude I, like i'll t- i'll take a i go i want to i want to spot at the improv i call i call up the, the um the head office right and they'll go let me check my schedule so i'm looking to see who they got and i haven't heard of none of these cats yeah so now i'm on their youtube looking if they've done anything so now i'm idbing these guys yeah, of course right. and that would work for them they will blow something up just off. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Who the wow. fuck is dude? It happens all the time, dude. I I I went to uh, Disneyland like about about ten years ago, all right, with my kids, right, all right, and and this bus load of tourists from El Paso, they're little kids, and now some bi- the big the Latin shows were real big, you know, like the locals and all those shows were real big. Mm-hmm. Well, those kids recognize me because they all watch that beaner shit, so <laughs> they they start taking pictures of me, right? Yeah. So that they and they all had uniforms. So pretty soon. Like it was other people. Like they're like, can we take a picture too? I'm like, do you know? Do you know who I am? No, but the, everybody's taking pictures. I, I, you see, what I'm saying how that would uh-huh. trickle and spread. Yeah, follow along. That's what I'm saying. If you had uh, fucking Joe, Joe Perry, some unknown dude, yeah, yeah, and yeah, people yeah. Would be, who the fuck? Yeah, they don't use their shit properly. They don't, yeah. and they don't know what the fuck they're doing, dude. Dude, the beard got me a picture, bro, randomly at the fair last year. Yeah, <laughs> straight up, <laughs> dude, dude took the picture. He was like, and then he left, and I'm thinking like, <laughs> dang, I was with, you know, what I'm saying, I'm with the fam. Like, who is, who is, who do they think I was? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. I was like, he's like, hey, do you mind taking a picture? Sure, come on. Well, and sometimes, like, bro, you know, sometimes too, he might have known who you are, bro. No, so check it. He walks away and he's like, yeah, 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 that's that famous baseball player. And I'm like, oh, that's hilarious. That's oh, funny. But if it was but like, like but baseball. in September, <laughs> when the fair is on, the baseball's right, still going on. <laughs> yeah. But that fool, it's playoff time. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah. pennant race, but he stopped off the fair one. to have some, some, some fried, <laughs> some Twinkies. Fried Twinkies. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, 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 man. I just wonder about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause that comedy thing, dude, it's so different now, bro. I see these, you know, these young dudes, and they're, and they're getting money on these platforms. It's not like stand-up comedy, but it's like you know the Vine guys or uh, that dude DC, the young cat with the little yeah, yeah wild and out crazy shit. tattoo between his eyes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he's on what, DC Young Fly. He's on yeah, wild DC and Young out. Fly. Yep, on Wild and Out. Mm-hmm. Nick Young grabbed a gang of those like little Viners and those dudes and put them on Nick that young? Wild and Out. Nick I mean Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Okay. Yeah, on the Wild and Out show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's how I was like, okay, so these dudes, they're getting money off of those platforms, but their comedy's just different, man. There's no stand on the stage and be able to put entertain. That's what it is. That's that what I'm saying. It, yeah. it, the whole industry a, is, is fucking spread out so fucking much. It's just a different, yeah. Like, dude, I'm, like, I'm doing a new TV show, right? Oh, dude. Can't really talk about it, but it's going to be on a, a channel. A, you've heard of the channel, but it's a very vague channel. It's, okay. like, yeah. it's heard of, but it's kind of not. Okay. Like and channel 13 like, was back in the shit, day. Like 1998, no. if I heard I was in a TV show, I'd be buying fucking a new car right now. I'd be... <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. Yep. And this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna get me nothing but a paycheck. Mm-hmm. Before you, back in the days, you do something like kind of big. Yeah. Uh, I remember I had friends that, move, that 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 did movies, and they were in the commercial. They didn't have big parts, but they were in the commercial of the movie and blew the fuck up. <laughs> you know, the movie tanked. Yeah, it, yeah. But they, were, but media was so. 
It's small, small, so so scarce. Not that many sources, you know. All right. Yeah. Look at look at you, man. Look at you guys. And it's funny. I don't. What I don't fucking understand. This blows me about your your business, the radio, is the only thing that this station has is you is the station that you guys work for is you guys. They can get what's playing anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why they wouldn't pump because I heard I heard less talk time. Less talk time. I'm like, what do you mean? Let's talk. Yeah. They can go to fucking Pandora yeah, and get it. Right yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny, dude. But you know what? Okay, since that, it's kind of flipped now too, to where it's like, okay, yeah, but now we need you to give a little more personality. Yeah. So now it's like, well, thank you. After all this time of like, after you, you know fucked what I'm it all up, and everybody's on Pandora now. Yeah. Say, yeah. I'm just gonna watch what I say because I need my job. Because I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> but I feel you, Jeff. Yeah, I'll talk. Yeah. Right. I'll talk. Right. Is, you know, I'll talk. Yeah. My job is wonderful. My job is wonderful. They let me talk just enough. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we got a show like this, dog. Well, you know, that's why we do this. Hey, I got a short kid. I don't know about a scholarship. Yeah. Hey, hey, so what you think, bro? First and 15th. That was good, right? Paydays? We put the podcast out on paydays. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So Everyone remembers that day. No, right? look at how quick he changed the subject. First yeah, 15th? I heard the first and 15th. Do you know what I'm saying? I heard payday, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Say pay I child, but I think I had child support. That's why I had to say. No, let me finish my point, all right? Because I, I don't want you to say it and I don't want you to say it, but no. I want everybody to know it. Oh, totally, totally. Because I want totally. everybody. And this is my opinion. Okay, copyright Jeff Garcia. This is my opinion. It has nothing to do with Los or Bam, no, okay? No. They, they don't feel like this at all. But check this out. I had a meeting. <laughs> I had a meeting with this cat, right? Because I wanted to buff up my, my appearance in Fresno, right? So I had a meeting with the guy at Clear Channel over here. Okay. Uh, in, in LA. And I, it's, so I go, yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm by a little small. I already have, you know, the promotions going good. Tickets to sales are going great. I just want to do a little bumper to, you know, to solidify. And I was only buying my commercials to get a, a, a sit in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, with the morning guy. Of course. So I can pump it like that. That's worth more than those commercials ever fucking yeah, movie. Yeah, for sure. So, for sure. So he goes, I go, yeah, this one, you know. He's like, oh, yeah. So I talked to the the um, the guy out there. You remember Big Chew? Big Chewy? Yeah. He's been out there for a year. He's still yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. And he told me, he's like, yeah. They, they, he goes, well, yeah, but they cut my talk time. And I go, you cut his talk time. And he goes, the guy from Clear Channel goes, because we're on a conference call to get a schedule. And he goes, yeah, well, we found out, with some, we have, some of our analysts have found out that people change the channel once they hear talking. I go, wait a minute, let me get some fucking straight, dude. So why am I buying time on your station? Mm -hmm. If they don't hear a song and then they, uh, my commercial comes on, they're going to change the channel. I'm exactly. wasting fucking money. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Why would you tell a buyer that? That dude yeah. just fucked that up. That makes no fucking That's sense. That's the dumbest thing yeah. that dude could have said to a client. Bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Good Lord. Right. That's a bad No, sale. but he said their analyst said it. But I, yeah, but but I'm gonna tell you, he's the dummy for saying something like that to a client, straight up. I'm like with the gig, like 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 yo, like because I'm you, yeah, dude. Dude, you can't go to Pandora to listen to fucking Bam. You can't go to Pandora to listen to Los. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you can't mm -hmm. go to Pandora to listen to fucking Howard Stern. No, you can't. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying, and and the whole point is that the only thing these stations have is the personalities that they hire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's their only thing they have going for them. Yeah, some of them are starting to give a little more freedom. You just like they just. I think they're, they're they pick and choose like yeah. who they could trust with that type of freedom yep. to to be the personality. They well, want the whole to point is they shouldn't be picking and choosing with the people. <clears throat> Let them go nuts. Let them make some noise. There's See, and that's when it was great too. That was radio's prime. Like yeah. at that point, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But then you, it was like tune in just to see what the hell they're doing next. Yeah, what this yeah. guy's gonna say or something. I remember but then you had the dudes that got carried away with the payola and all that shit, and then it was yeah. But that's then not all. All the all the privileges went away. Yeah, because but that's that. more of a yeah. business thing than it. it is a personality mm -hmm. thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. think about it. Remember our show on Wild Man? Yeah. We, it was fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, we fucking almost got kicked off. The <laughs> right. We had yeah. we were looking at the red phone every minute, but our show went number one. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Right. And dude, remember we went number one. And we were dealing with fucking the, the old the old company that we were with. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Is this yeah, the same yeah. company you guys work for now? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, because nah. we were dealing with that fucked up company over there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, you're right. yeah, man. Yeah. And dude, we're going up against Clear Channel. They're giving away Mariah Carey tickets. We're giving away Skateland tickets. Or fucking car wash. Yeah, tickets. free car wash. <laughs> they got fucking. You get only use yeah. on Tuesday. But still didn't want to give the talent props. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah. So who's doing what now? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, dude, they left me alone, dude. They left yeah. me alone until we went number one. Remember? Yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah. bother me at all. They didn't even look in the booth. Then I look over and then the ch chicks out there looking in the window and no, shit. I remember that shit, dude. Fuck For that. sure, nah, man, Jeff, dude, good looking, bro. Like this is crazy, man. You, I think you blew my mind like three times during this yeah. conversation, bro. Oh, thank like, you, bro. Yeah, real shit. Damn, that was some yeah, some of the realest shit I've heard, dude. That that damn man, motherfucker, that got the meal ticket to just sit it out by yep. Disney. Is, oh yeah, I I fucking that's crazy. Oh, bro, that's worse shit out I there. I want to sit it out, check. Shit. I want to sit it out, check, Bam. I might, you know, might not be able to do this again on the first and the fifteenth. You know, it's what I'm like, like sitting it out. It's like legal. 
Legal, illegal, work miss comp. <laughs> it is, dog. <laughs> Shit, real talk. Yo, for sure. Hey, yo, where would you want to uh, mess with you, dude, on social media, Jeff? Oh, uh, Instagram, Jeff Garcia LA. Jeff Garcia LA. You don't fuck with, like, Snapchat and shit? I was I, telling him, you gotta get right. on the Snapchat. I, I have it, I don't know. Just because you're, he's like, good, right? just you're like, you're fuck. instant funny. Like, yes. You're, you're like, you're funny Instagram all the time, cool. Jeff. Oh, uh, okay. Because I, I, I'm an Instagram user. I'm, Instagram is my number one, to be honest. Yeah. Source, you know what I mean? But snap wise, for certain motherfuckers, like I feel like people could even connect with you a little better through Snap because mm-hmm. it's almost like instant. So I think you should just hop on that Snap. All right, dog. I'll have yeah. him give me a tutorial. It, do the Snap, dude. dude. I'm, 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 I got the Snap up weekend. now, dude. All right, real yeah, shit, Jeff. dog. Like yes, real and shit. hit me with it, it's Jeff. A good weekend. All right, with it. <laughs> Snapchat. Yeah. yeah All right, sure. I'll have him give me a tutorial again. Yes, dude. Yeah. You're but too, you funny. You're too funny to not have a Snap, bro. I have one. I just never. Dude, it's funny. I Snapchatted something the other day, and like. Was like eight people finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. You feel what I'm saying? Like it already. Was just a selfie too, and they're like, "Oh, I'm like, he made it." He made it. Yeah. Snapchat. Yeah. Cool, uh, man. Good looking, bro. Thank you, bro.